Hi guys, I'm sure you have seen these little blue creatures before. If not in print, maybe in one of their many cartoons. But have you wondered, where do the Smurfs come from and how were they created? And if you're curious, what are the Smurfs up to nowadays, make sure to watch the video till the end. We'll find the answers to our questions at the Brussels Comics Art Center. The Art Center is housed in a beautiful Art Nouveau building. It traces the history of the Belgium comics, as well as some popular characters in Belgian comics culture. I'm sure you'll recognize Tantan and his faithful dog Snowy. He also has a larger museum in Louvain-Laneuve. But let's go find out the little blue man. In 1958, Spirou Comics Magazine published the story of Johan and Pirlou. It was called The Flute with Six Holes. It is here that the Smurfs made their first debut in printed format. Their story was a huge success. They continued to accompany Johan and Pirlou for another three adventures before in 1959, they had their own independent story in six Smurf-sized albums. It was here that the Smurf universe was born, complete with their arch-enemies Gargamel and Azrael, as well as their mushroom-like houses in the Cursed Land. The creator of the Smurfs, the Belgian cartoonist Peyo, cooperated with Hanna Barbera and created the first Smurf TV show. It aired on NBC in September 1981. In 2011, Sony Pictures picked up the rights and created a trilogy of live-action computer-animated Smurf movies. But Smurf comics continue to be published today. In their latest adventures, they're flying on storks, devising rescue plans and outwitting Gargamel at every turn. Also, they're waiting for their next TV series to be aired in 2021. I hope you enjoyed our little incursion in Smurf history. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.